Good morning, coloring friends. Welcome to part two of my complete book, coloring book collection. Uh, this is also part two of the first category that is untouched books. We are going to do all of my Hatchet Hero books, my other Disney books, which I think are Hatchet Hero anyway, um, and my untouched art therapy books that are I'm not sure. They might be Hatchet Heroes. Maybe not. Anywho, we'll jump right in. First one, Art Therapy, Extraordinary Gardens, hardcover book. Got this one used. There were a couple of pages that had marks on them, but that's okay. I was testing my mild liners there. This is illustrated by Sophie LeBlanc. Good paper, two-sided. These are the all bigger books. It's a bunch of flowers and gardens. There are some ooh, bugs that are like scenes like this, which is cool. And then there's some extreme close-ups, which I also like. And I have some pages marked, things that I might want to do first. It says Art Therapy Extraordinary Gardens. Next is Art Therapy Art Deco in Art Nouveau. Illustrated by Elena Lopez. I do believe this, some of these are you know, from famous art. So, there is, I do believe, I like this a lot, um, a list in the back. Yeah, a list in the back of what they are from. Which, I always like having reference material. Yeah. So, fun patterns. You know, actual art, so you can reference it if you want to make it look like that or make it your own. So that is Art Therapy, Art Deco. Next is Art Therapy Stained Glass. This one is illustrated by Sophie LeBlanc. This has a bunch of stained glass. A lot of these are from actual stained glass from around the world. This too has a list in the back. I have some marked apparently. Of where they're at, you know, dates. 1320, that is just insane to me that there's still stained glass that is from 1320 hanging out. Yeah, so you can look them up and again, reference, make them how they're supposed to be or just do whatever you want with them. I think that is just the bee's knees to be able to do that. That is Art Therapy Stained Glass. Now we're getting into a bunch of Disney books. Disney and Hatchet Hero books, other ones that are non-Disney. So this is Grand Block Art Therapy, Animals and Fantastic Creatures, I believe is what that is. Jessica Mazia. So these are disc bound because they are notorious for falling apart. They're the uh, top bound, top bound books, tablets, whatever you want to call them. So this is all magical Disney magical creatures I do like that these are one-sided it's still decent paper and when they're disc bound you can take them out and put them right back in so another good feature I believe that's a cover image right there yes it is Cheshire Kitty. 
These are some of my favorite characters, the fairy godmothers. Oh, and another favorite character, Mushu. So that is Disney Hatchet Heroes, Grand Block Animals, and Fantastic Creatures, Fantasy Creatures. Next is Disney Hatchet Heroes Grand Block Magic. This too is disc bound. It was also one that was top bound. So a bunch of pictures that are about magic and such. I really like this one. Zima too. That one will be fun. That is Disney Grand Block Magic. Next is Disney. Hatchet Heroes Art Therapy Magics Silhouettes Magics I've seen some of these done just amazingly I, I'm going to I'm a little intimidated I'm not sure why I've done crazier pages so need to have a light bulb moment with one of these and ooh, I should do this one for Arabian Nights. Hmm. We're gonna set this out. Next we have Disney Hatchet Heroes Grand Block Tabaloo. I'm not sure what that means. Illustrations by Jean Luc. Girin, I didn't tell you the illustrator and the silhouettes. Let's see what that is. Um, maybe. It's not telling me. It's upside down. I don't read French, so... I'm not finding it easily enough. These videos are long enough, I'm not going to make you sit through that. So yeah, it's all like... Posters, possibly. In frames. Pictures in frames. I do like this. Words. New York Dog Pound. It's a cool picture. Yeah. So that is Disney Art Therapy Grand Block. Tableau, it is a Hatchet Hero book. Next is Home Sweet Home, hardcover book, Hatchet Heroes. <laughs> a diagram I had to draw for somebody about how a vent cover went onto a wall. <laughs> Some of the joys of my job. Home Sweet Home, illustrated by... D. Aurelia Bertrand. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I apologize. Two-sided. Um, they did. I hope they do this with more. Make the left side so that the bottom, if it's a landscape, is on the side that you would want it on. I, I really, really like it when books do that. I, I hope they start doing that with uh, the mystery colors. Uh, that would just be the bee's knees. 
So this is a bunch of Disney scenes in homes, in their houses. Um, and not all of these are scenes from actual movies, which is great. There's, there's some stuff in here that we've never seen. Like, I don't think I've ever seen that in a movie. And that is beautiful. That is just beautiful. Yeah. I like this one a lot. So that is Disney Home Sweet Home Hatchet Heroes. Next is Vitro. This is the scratch off stuff. So you got that, you got your design, you scratch off. And it's like the stained glass ones, but the color is underneath the stuff. So where it's gray, you scratch off the top layer, and you end up with cool stuff like that. So, yeah, I've not started this one. I have started one in another one that I have. Next is Le Grand's Classiques. Art Deco Tone 2 Hatchet Heroes. This is Aurelia Stephanie Bertrand, the illustrator. It's all Disney characters, Art Deco style, which I absolutely love. I love Art Deco, I love Art Nouveau. I have a few marked in here that really caught my eye. And I mean, you could make these simple, you could make them more complex. I really, 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 really like this book. I want to get into it so bad. There is the Grand Classics Art Deco Tone 2. Next is Le Grand Classics Coloriage Mysteries Tome 9. Um, not a whole lot to show you in here. A bunch of mystery colors. There's some of what is in here. I'm not going to go through all of the answers. So, Grand Classics, Tome 9. I did say the illustrator, did I not? Hmm. Oh, the Eugene Veron. Next is Disney Bestiaire Coloriage Mystère Hatchet Heroes. This one is illustrated by Alexandra Karam. Again, a bunch of looks like gibberish because it is a mystery color. Get to the back, I'll show you a page. So that is what you can expect this in this book. Bestiaire. This too is a bestiaire, but this is triangles. So everything in here is a bunch of triangles. This one is illustrated by Sophie LeBlanc. So it's a bunch of triangular pictures, and this is how they turn out. Cool stuff. So Disney Bestiaire Triangles, Hatchet Heroes. This is 
Disney Hatchet Heroes Trump Lloyd Tome 3. D. Eugenie Verone. So you've got your mystery colors, and they've got these kind of darker pictures on there, but then when you do the mystery color, it's not that that you see, it's something else. So there's some of what is in here. That is Trompoy Tome 3. Next is Disney Mystery Color. This is Pixar. There's some of those. And that is some of what's in here. So that is Disney, Pixar, Hatchet Heroes, Mystery Colors. We have Disney Portraits, Mystery Colors, Hatchet Hero Book, illustrated by Christoph Alexis Perez. This has some of the trump ish stuff going on in here too, so you can kind of see another picture, but what's behind it is what the picture is, not what you see here. Like, it's Thomas O'Malley, but behind it is, looks like a horse. Maybe. And there is some of what's in here. So that is Disney Mystery Color Portraits, a Hatchet Hero book. Next is Pixar Tome 2 Mystery Color. Same thing, got your palettes on the bottom of each page. And there is some of what's in here. So that is Pixar Tome 2 Mystery Color Hatchet Heroes. Next is Disney Villains Mystery Color. This one is quite detailed. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And there is an example of what's in here. You can see it's a lot more detailed. I like it a lot. That's fun. So, Disney Villains, Mystery Colors, Hatchet Heroes. Illustrated by Jeremy Mariez. We have Disney, Mickey and Friends, Mystery Color, Hatchet Hero Book. Illustrated by Jeremy Marias. Again, mystery colors. This one is another one that is uh, a bit more detailed. And there is an example of some of the things that are in here. I really want to do this one and do the glass bottle with uh, Jelly Roll Glaze. Yeah, that'll be awesome. So that is Mickey and Friends Hatchet Heroes mystery color. Next is Disney Trump Lloyd Tome 2. So again, the mystery color behind this image that is not really what the image is. And there are a couple examples of what is in here. Disney, Mystery Color, Trompe Loy, Hatchet Heroes. Illustrated. Oh, there's two illustrators, Alexandra Karim and Jeremy Mariez. Dogs. Disney Dogs. Mystery Color, Hatchet Hero Book. Christoph 
Alexis Perez. And there's some of the pages and there's a few examples of what is in here. And some of these are kind of dark. I would just lighten them up when I'm coloring them. So Disney Mystery Colors Dogs. Next is Disney Babies. Mystery Color Hatchet Heroes. This is Christoph Alexis Perez. pages and there is some examples of what is in here so that is Disney mystery color babies hatchet heroes then we have Disney mystery color Hatchet Hero Books, this Glenn Class Grand Classics Circle Magic, illustrated by Christoph Alexis Perez. And this is all a bunch of intersecting circles. And you color it to make your picture. Some are like this, and some are like that which I like and they did put numbers in the intersecting parts of the circles which is cool so yeah there's some that are like that some that are like that so there's an example of some of the ones that are the bigger circles and let's find there we go that's how they end up when it's the whole page of smaller circles. So, Disney Mystery Color Magic Circles, a Hatchet Hero book. Next is Disney Mystery Color Tome 5. This is illustrated by Aurelia Bertrand and Edward Vazzi. Slightly different style. You can kind of tell who which one is is which, which is kind of neato. And that is some examples of what's in here. So, Le Grand Classiques, Tome 5, Disney, and Hatchet Hero. Next are Hatchet Hero Mystery Color Books, but they are not Disney. So this is Mandela's, illustrated by Dominique Constantini. Got Mandela color by numbers. Seen some of these done, they look pretty cool. Ooh, there's an owl. And there is some examples of how they look when they're done. So that is Hatchet Heroes Mandala's Mystery Colors. Next is Sorceries Mystery Colors. Illustrated by Sandrine Furrier. And again, looks like a bunch of random scribbles. Palettes on the bottom. And there's some examples of what is in here. So Hatchet Hero Mystery Colors, Sorcerers. Next is Mystery Color Animals, illustrated by Laurent Ruier. 
got our palette up here. Except darker lines. That's okay. I usually use acrylic paint pens in here in these books. Just like how it looks. And there's some examples of what is in this book. Mystery color animals, hatchet heroes. Next is mystery color birds, a hatchet hero book. Alexandra Kareem Karam. More crazy squiggles. And there is some examples of what is in this book. My obsession currently, owls. One of Jojo Zahanna's favorite birds. Favorite things, favorite animals. Oh yeah. So, birds. Mystery colors. Catch heroes. Next one. Mystery colors. I'm not sure what that means. There's more than just animals in here, I do believe. Jeremy Mirez and Aurelian Carusco. This one has the lighter lines again. And some are more detailed than others, and there is an example of some of the things that are in here. Pardon that noise. A couple of my magazine holders that were holding these books fell off the table. And the last one, this will be a shorter video than the other one because there is not a whole lot to actually show you in these books, um, but that was a pretty good stack of books. Uh, mystery colors. Again, I believe this is more than just animals. It's a bunch of random stuff. This one is illustrated by William Ball. There is an example of some of the pages. And yeah, there's some scenery too, so more than just animals. So, mystery colors, hatchet heroes, random stuff. All right, that one didn't take forever. Thank goodness. So, I will bid you adieu. I thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next installment.